Good morning, Pennsylvania. Even in the power lines, we can't even get like a roadway. You have all these rocks. Well, somebody did pour down, looks like some mulch here. So it's somewhat pleasurable for about 10 feet. It was a little smaller, but cute. I was like, I want to be down there. So we're doing a little um, I guess ridge walk here. Well, it's pretty wide open and you can see just about the whole valley for quite a long ways. Kind of first time been able to do this a while and I kind of enjoy it. So, not very cool and warm, but enjoyable view. Pretty sure we're going down across this bridge over here and up that mountain side. A uh, gentleman that just came past the shelter we took a break at, 81 years old today. Happy birthday to him. Um, but told us that we would be climbing up this other side and we would be using our hands to um, grip rocks and pull ourselves up and trekking poles were kind of useless. So waiting to see what this is all about. Not looking forward to it, but waiting to see. So we just had a water break at uh, Outer Bridge Shelter. Um, we stayed in between Lee Furnace Gap, I think. We were a little bit ways away, or Bake Oven, uh, maybe, I don't know. We're heading to Leroy Smith Shelter, at least somewhere is past there. Came down off the bridge because we saw there's potential swimming opportunities, but it is pretty shallow, so I don't know, maybe, I don't know. What do you think, Billy Goat? <laughs> Because it's so shallow. It's not really moving all that well. I mean, it's moving, but it's just not going that fast. So I don't know. All right, trail, we think we're going up there. Just kidding, it goes that way, but it's not better. down there where that blue there's a blue truck down there the boat launch we were swimming just to the left of that came down from the power lines over that way i think we got a photo of uh this hillside and it is covered in rocks and we're going to be going up a pretty steep part right here looks like billy goes trying to figure out the uh, puzzle already it's like looks like it wasn't far off with that rock scramble going up there Coming from down there. It's funny because there's a blaze right there. There's no way I'd go up right there. There's a blaze right there. I'm not sure I could go up there. I don't know. But this is uh, becoming really fun and interesting, I guess, fast. <laughs> this ain't fucking for the faint hearted, I can tell you that much. We're ways up there. They go straight up through there. We're just on the other side of that ridge now, and I bet you we're gonna try to come around the top side of this bowl. Maybe go to the other side of that mountain. Pennsylvania, you finally impressed me a little bit. This is a nice little spot here. We came up and over the ridge that you saw earlier before the or after the bridge kind of walking the ridge down this way and it opens up to this expansive vista vista beautiful view muy bueno it's rocks, but you know we still got a view not so bad 
Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, day whatever it is. Uh, Billy Goat and I got split up from Jukebox and Luna yesterday as we went down to the Slopeside Pub. Had a fantastic dinner, crab cakes. I think I already went through it. Asparagus, french fries, all the sides. A couple beers and then uh, we did hit a 17.5 mile day. 17.5 I think, somewhere in there. So right on the average we've been keeping up with. And Jukebox and Luna, they like to do their 20 pluses. So they're, I believe, at the shelter, which is seven miles ahead of us. So we went quite a ways last night. And uh, it is supposed to rain and thunder shower today and tonight with up to two to four inches. Uh, so trying to get out of camp early, get to a shelter, decide what to do for the rest of the day and stay dry. All right, 6.30, back on the trail. Um, Billy Goat's still breaking down camp and doing that thing the sun is actually coming up which is good news but their wind has picked up it's definitely blowing another weather system in and it's calling for a hundred percent chance of rain today thunder showers all through the night so there's shelter five seven miles ahead and uh trying to get to that before that starts raining i'm kind of prepared with my with my rain pack cover uh, my rain jacket's right at the top, so oh, there's a nice little spot we missed. Yeah. <clears throat> but, anyways, sore. Don't want to get wet. And looking to get to that shelter uh, within the next hour, two hours. Probably like two hours, two and a half. Um, so by 10, I hope, because I think that's when the rain gets to, starts the most, or hardest. Um, but... As you can see, these rocks slow everything down. These aren't even actually that bad, but my feet already hurt this morning. So this isn't making it easier or better. Yep, just more rocks. Water, and I just opened this up. It wasn't open, but a shit ton of water. And I am definitely going to take probably, a, I don't know, I'm at a mountain dew in a long time. I'll probably take a Coke. That looks delicious right now. Maybe one that's kind of at the bottom. For a while, I'm gonna sit down right on top of this and fill up some water. Although I'd prefer a Pepsi, this is this looks good. So I'm approaching the shelter that I was uh, aiming for this morning. I think it was about seven miles. Um, right now it's 0.2 ahead, and it's around 8:15 maybe. So I'm wondering if. If Jukebox did that many miles last night, I think you'd probably sleep in. I'm wondering if I can catch him before he takes off. So that's my intention, sort of. It was my intention to begin with, I guess. Um, but also to get there, it is so muggy right now. I'm like sweating. It's thick. It's definitely in the making for, a, I think, a good thunderstorm. So one really want to be hiking in it and uh, going to see who's at the shelter and if Billy Goat catches up, talk about what the potential plans might be for the rest of the today. And then we're trying to hit Delaware Water Gap tomorrow. Really need to charge things back up. I really need to do the laundry. I didn't do that last time, even though I spent two days in the hotel. So trying to get that done soon. And uh, with the weather coming in, that might be the best opportunity right now but i'll catch up with you guys when i get to the show gap or wind gap 4.6 kirkridge shelter is the next one delaware water gap 20 so we could do 20 today and be there we gotta watch for the rain uh leroy smith shelter is what we're doing one or 0.15 so i'm gonna go check this out see if jukebox and luna are still there look at them just hanging out <laughs> hey what 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 how you doing, huh? <laughs> do, 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 yeah, you good girl. You a good girl. You a good girl. Where's your friends? Come on, turkey.
either walk on top of them or in between them. I'm not sure which is the better move. Probably not on top, I guess. I don't know. No matter what, you lose. Oh, yep, you lose. You lose the toenail. On the map, this is a bunch of switchbacks to get down to this gap. Um, and it's just a bunch of rocks. So I may have to slow down a little bit. I'm pretty sure this was the section of trail that was on fire last, well, a few days ago. Um, when we had all that smoke, somebody talked about on trail there was a fire ahead and it was going to be closed. I don't know if this was an intentional burn, accidental, arson, I have no idea, no idea. Um, but it is fresh and you can smell it. I smell it way up the hill and uh, it'll burn out quite a bit. Looks like it would be a, I think, intentional burn probably using the trail as a break. I don't know, it stinks though. Wolf Rocks, 6.8 miles. I was told that this is gonna be one of the toughest sections of rocks um, here through the northern part of Pennsylvania. Katahdin, Maine, 910.1. I'm gonna start counting down. Here we go. So no trail magic at the gap that uh, Jukebox had thought he thought that he was delivering a visor and some one of the other girls on trail was going to have some bacon and eggs and breakfast, but uh, ended up being a wash. So we talked about going over to the hotel to meet them for breakfast, and then I was like, "No, nah, I gotta get, I gotta get up this hill and get going. Otherwise, if I go to a hotel, I probably end up staying there." But this is the, uh, damn it, this is the path. This is. This is what we got to deal with for, I think about 20 more, no, 15, 15 more miles. I don't know if it gets much better than this. And it's going to be slow going, so we're not going to get to Delaware Water Gap until late, I don't think, if this is the pace they're going. Luna are still a little bit behind, getting their day started a little bit later. Um, Billy Goat and I have been hiking kind of back and forth throughout the day and we met up with him at a gap. He had to return a visor to some somebody um, that he was hiking with earlier. He picked up at a shelter anyways. Uh, but it did start raining so we were kind of on a little lunch break and decided to set up the tents real quick. Uh, obviously as soon as we did that the rain stopped. Um, but I'm going to cook a little lunch right now. I got some brats. Um, that I did saute in some olive oil with some salt and pepper. I'm gonna boil some water just to get that hot, and I'm gonna add some taters to it. So, uh, lunchtime, and then probably break down as long as it's not raining and get back on trail. So we're getting done with uh, lunch. We have a couple of our, what'd you say, it was two and two? Yeah, two through and two. Through and two, so two years uh, and doing the through hike from Damascus. Not Damascus, Duncannon. Uh, Duncannon. Yep. All right, and it was Space Face and Snacks. snacks. Yep. All right, well, it was nice to meet you guys. You Thanks too. you. Well, hopefully, we'll see you on trail. If not, you know, we'll catch up another time. All right. So it looks like we're heading right down through here for our path today. And uh, Jukebox is still like an hour or more behind right now. We're just trying to figure it out. But we have uh, had a little bit of rain. And now we're up on this little rock uh, cliff side. And we'll be doing a little scramble across the uh, ridge here. So I'm not. So the rocks are slick. I mean, you can see we had some rain. There's some water around. And we're doing our best not to fall. Make fools of ourselves on national YouTube TV. International, actually. I got a bunch of people that are subscribed from all over the place. <coughs> See how Billy Goat's doing. Taking her time. Keeping her, keeping her footing. Rock. Yo, dude. Well, definitely some weather over that way. I can't see the skyline. Probably a long way down. Ta tree tops. Up in the trees. Let's get down from here.
go down. Now we go down the rocks. Rocky Road. Be safe. Those of you watching at home and following along, we're about a mile out from the shelter, maybe a little bit less at this point. It's probably around four o'clock or getting close to that. And it's just starting to rain. And I think at this point, it's inevitable that it comes down and it probably will come down harder as we get going. So stay tuned. Hopefully we'll be in the shelter soon, drier. All right, made it to the shelter. Not much, not much time to spare. Looks like we're the only ones here right now. I'm bad. I'm gonna find water though. Welcome back. We're at the shelter. I'm gonna make some dinner here. I just got done with some Earl Grey tea and uh, clean my pot out. So that's all ready to go for round two. So I'm gonna boil some water and cut this brat in half. And when that's done, I'll bring you guys back together and we'll talk about what I'm doing with that next. I'm unlikely throwing it on a tortilla with some cheese.